I felt another presence join us. I think it's your dad. Yeah. He's passed? Yeah, yeah. He's been gone quite a while, your dad. Yeah. And he said he's learned a lot on the other side. I feel like he was a little bit too troubled. He said Ooh. he sunk. He didn't swim. No, he didn't. My father, he struggled with drug addiction. And then later in life, he passed. I didn't know him, but I knew of him. So, um, you know, there were some unresolved feelings there. Your father said that the biggest person that he never wanted to disappoint was your mother in life. Never wanted it. What is going on with that light? Yeah, yeah, the ghost whisper. That had better been you. That's you, right? That's not you? No, no. Oh, OK. OK. Wait, come here. <laughs> uh. He's right here. You want, you want to walk away from him? <laughs> Uh, that was pretty cool what your dad did with that light. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like, I'll have to really. Your father, he has a lot of creative ability oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's showing me all these swirls of blue, mm -hmm. a little bit pink and red thrown in. I just see a lot of uh, cobalt blue colors in my head. OK. I don't know why. Did, OK. Did, did he paint? Did he? Yeah, he did everything but an artist, mostly. Do you have a painting of his? I don't. Does your mom? If she had it, then I would have it, so I don't think so. There's something I would love for you to check with her. OK. If those deep blues were the color of choice. Mm. So there's some meaning to that, and I don't know what that is. OK. Do I feel we have your father coming on this journey with us today? I do. Yeah. So let's go up. And maybe if you want to make a phone call once we get out of this basement. OK, let's do it. Hello? Ah, Mommy, can you talk for a little bit? Yeah. All right, I'm speaking with uh, a friend of mine. Her name is Kim, and she's a medium. Hello. Mom, this is Kim. Kim, my mom. Hi, Mom. How are you? Hi, Kim. Doing well. I just finished eating, so my belly is full, and I'm just sitting here. Oh, yeah. good, good. OK. Um, and she said she was speaking to um, Andre. Oh. Uh, yes. He was showing me some artwork that he used to like to use a lot of blue colors, like cobalt blue, all mixtures of blues. Well, I'll tell you, Kim, so much is happening in our lives right now. And we're talking almost 50 years ago, but a few weeks ago, some of his artwork came to my memory. There's a particular picture that I remember very clearly. It had lots of blues. That's, that's all I can tell you. I just think that's validating that he's been around a lot lately, and there's no doubt in my mind that he is allowing you to remember his artwork. Wow. Mm -hmm. Does that That's make sense? Good. Yeah. Uh, remind me to, to tell you about this, Mom. We're gonna we're gonna finish this up, All okay? All I'm, right. I love you so much. Nice to meet you, Kim. Same here. All Take right, Mommy. Love you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> She's, she's so lovely. She had a meal, and her stomach is full. And, and she's, she's grateful. She's grateful. She, I hope. OK. That's how. That's what I took from that, okay. right? Yeah, she is grateful. For the things that some of us take for granted, yes. a meal. Yes. Oh, right? that's good. Oh, that's good. There's a little lesson in that. You're good, Kim. You, you need to go a little deeper I know. in your thoughts. It's a lot. It's a lot. I got a lot going on today. <laughs> All right, I'm going to let you slide on, on this All one. Right. It's clear to me that a big part of this blockage is a lot of your anger mm -hmm. and your uh, suppressed emotions mm -hmm. from a childhood that you had no say mm -hmm. and you tried to make the best of it. You were suppressed. You couldn't be who you were. Yeah, well, it comes out. Yeah, I mean, it's just a, a reminder that you think you've kind of uh, outgrown something or worked. I still need, I still need to work on that, obviously. There's a bigger story here. Yeah. And when you were going into the depths of despair, your father stepped in 
where he didn't step in mm -hmm. when he was in the physical yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. I lost my father early. I didn't know him, but I knew of him. He was an artist, you know, and he was a dancer. And as a, as a kid, you know, you always, you always think, oh, maybe one day I'll meet my pops. And then later in life, he passed when I was uh, around like 18. When he was taken away, you know, there were some unresolved feelings there. And to hear Kim say, you know, in, in, in her way, that my biological father couldn't be with me in the way that he probably would have liked. So he was helping me from wherever he is. That helped, it made me feel like a son. I think I have him to thank for saving my life a few times and just getting me right on, getting me back on the right path, all of that stuff. In a weird way, I, I feel like maybe I didn't miss out with my biological pops. Even if I didn't believe that there were a bunch of ghosts behind me supporting me, just the idea of that is enough to give me confidence moving forward. You know what I mean? Um, so the fact that I do, you know, that I am a believer, um, you know, I feel like I have no excuse now. And dare I say, sometimes I think it's kind of, it's cooler, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because um, it's magical, you know? I mean, you know, and, and, and anybody can help teach a kid how to ride a bike, but like, to help somebody from the afterlife is, is pretty cool. <laughs>